waiting for the bus, killing time by making it useful. Here's the tea, my friends. I'm so irritated as usual by American politics. Ever since Biden announced he was not going to stand for re-election anymore, we've had a lame duck in the White House, which is an old school term offensive to some because lame is considered ableist by many. Nevertheless, it's a historical artifact. Lame duck means Biden has no power. But as we saw, for some reason, the Biden-Harris administration has no leverage over the Israeli state and the other actors in the Middle East right now who cannot get a ceasefire deal done. Now, on the one hand, we don't have any leverage because we have an incredibly weak president in the White House who's incredibly weaker because he's not going to be in the office for much longer. On the other hand, the only reason the war against the Palestinians in the Holy Land continues is because the United States is backing that war financially and militarily. So that's the leverage. If we stopped funding the war, the war would stop. And yet, for some reason, nobody on the American side is saying anything to make the war stop. But here's an idea. Kamala could make a statement, right? Kamala could give a speech, right? Just like Obama gave that famous speech on race. Well, this is Kamala's time to be a real leader and make a speech. Because if she doesn't win the presidency, she still made her mark. And if she doesn't win the presidency, she can still do something for the Palestinians. Because the way the Palestinians are being treated is just the way African Americans were treated in this country, which is just the way black South Africans were treated in their country. So the buck stops with the president. If Kamala wants to be the president, Kamala should make the actual buck stop. And she can do it by saying, I refuse to work with the Netanyahu-led extremist, far-right Israeli government that has no strategic aim except for collective punishment and they cannot defeat Hamas. They've had almost a year to do it. They cannot defeat Hamas. Why you cannot defeat a terrorist organization? That's how terrorism works. Now, Kamala doesn't have a PhD, but Kamala was the AG of CA. And if Kamala can't find it in herself to make a thoroughgoing statement about how her administration is going to be fundamentally different from the Biden administration she was drafted into, then it's not her time. In situations like this, I always think, what would Coltrane do, right? Kamala likes Coltrane, but I'm not talking about John Coltrane, Kamala. I'm talking about Taria Alice Coltrane, Kamala. And yo, girl, we could kiki. I like your style. I like everything about you, but the politician suit doesn't quite fit. Your job is not to bait Trump into gaps. Your job is actually to put forward a vision that's inspiring to the country and that wait for it goes beyond your biography 
and life trajectory, girl. Right. What's your vision for America? What's your vision for the world? Because Americans continue to die at the hands of the Israeli state. What about their human rights? You posted on Twitter yesterday that you believe in fundamental human rights. Are those just words? Or can you walk that walk, my friend? The ball's in your court, girl. I'm good with my maker.